see, no be everybody sabi use this formula method carry solve something. The people where even sabi use them, they don't even know say you get another thing where teacher not tell them for secondary school. See, um, solution. I want use formula method solve this quadratic equation. See, the formula method na x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus four times a times c all divided by 2a that be the formula now they know sabi use them you get what you call general form of quadratic equation general form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero now this way we carry derive this particular stuff so now now this way they carry compared to the original equation see the equation we then give x squared plus 5x plus 6 equal to zero you notice when they say a equal to one they can say b equal to five they can say c equal to six plenty teacher no talk how this thing they come about they don't tell you how this thing they come about see where it come about if x x equate each other i see say the coefficient of this x squared now one then we can get a equal to one c x x if i equate them b could be equal to five c na constant equal to six now so you can take it out but they no agree explain this part to give you oh, yeah now make you carry everything i put inside the formula get the final answer x now be equal to minus your b now waiting c b b and a five so minus come with that formula so minus five plus or minus square root of b remember say b and a five so five squared minus four times one you know say your a now one now c now waiting six times six Make sure say this square root cover everything all divided by two times one because your a e now one finally x could be equal to minus five plus or minus so you know say the square root of uh five squared now 25 five square means two five times five will be 25 minus four times one now four four times six now 24 so write 24 here yeah. all divided by two times one now two we don't almost finish you s could be equal to minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 24 will give you 1 you know say the square root of 1 now waiting you don't know the square root of 1 now 1 <laughs> so x now will be equal to minus 5 plus or minus 1 because the square root of 1 now 1 divided by 2 what did this thing mean anytime you say plus or minus it means say the value of s could be either minus 5 plus you could take the plus 1 first plus 1 over 2 or minus 5 minus 1 now this minus we did another thing divided by 2 finally s now will be equal to minus 5 plus 1 will be equal to minus 4 divided by 2 or minus 5 minus 5 will be waiting to give us minus